Now I will show you how to install an Adobe font to the Dawn theme on Shopify. So here is a nice font that I found. You will go to fonts.adobe.com and find your font. Click on add to web project. Click here on this little drop down thing, create a new project. I'm just going to call this my new Shopify store. Cool. You can click here and add all the cuts you want, might want to take. Don't add unnecessary ones that might make it slower to load. But for demonstration, I'm just going to take all the cuts. Click on create. Now keep this tab open. Click here to copy this style sheet into your clipboard. Next, we'll head up to our Shopify store and online under online store and themes. We got the current theme, which is the Dawn theme. Under the actions drop down, go to edit code. Now look for theme.liquid. Open that and we need to add it in inside this head tag. So you could add it just here. I'm going to find a little bit nicer place for it. I think below this would be pretty nice be before it starts adding these font font things. OK, so added the Adobe font style sheet, the theme.liquid inside head tag uh, below this guy. So for example, line 41 should be nice. Click on save. Perfect. Then look for a CSS file. And under assets, we were going to go with the base.css. Something a little bit weird going on. I'm going to refresh. Okay, base.css, perfect. So scroll all the way down, a couple of extra lines. Now you will need to add the CSS snippet. Uh, it's in my blog post and I will add it to the Shopify forums and wherever. So you want all of this. And just add this here to the base CSS as the last thing. I'm actually gonna hit save. So I have my demo site, which which is my demo store for my kind of code snippet, which hides these variants. But take a look at this font. This is now the default font. So I'm going to hit save. And we're not gonna use the Adobe font yet. But we should turn this into Helvetica. So when I refresh, this will turn into Helvetica. A slight difference, but it's there. This is definitely the Helvetica font. Perfect. So the CSS snippet is working. Now let's go back to Adobe fonts. And we want this kind of the CSS font name. So it's after the font family. Going back to Shopify and our CSS file, I'm just going to replace both of these Helveticas as this name kind of the Adobe font name. And when I hit save, again, now this Helvetica is going to turn into our lovely ITC Avant Garde Gothic. So let's see. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Looks very nice. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you need any help. You can also hire me one on one if you need just a specialist to take care of this. Shoot uh, a message. Let me know in the comments. How can I make the tutorial even better? Uh, also, here, this is the main text 
font and this is the heading text font. So you can of course and often you wanna have a different font for each of these. Now going through this endless CSS file, there are a lot of places where those fonts are kind of applied. One thing that I wanted to make a little bit custom just for information is the announcement bar. So the announcement bar by default is gonna use the heading font. So in some cases, if your main body font is for example, a sans serif type of font and your heading is a something more kind of not, not that basic, you probably wanna switch those around and have the announcement bar show the sans serif version, even if it's the, the body font family. Cool, thank you so much for watching. And again, feel free to get in touch if you need help with this or you know, your Shopify in general.